Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four options, teardrop infographic design, and this is how the slide works. And when I click, it will show you the first option, the option one, you can see here, uh, I have added an icon there and there's a teardrop or I can say a raindrop also. And then uh, the option one and the text, when I click, it will show you the, the teardrop, which is option two, then the option three, option four and when i click it will give you this particular effect and one more slide similarly i have done same thing it will come the first one the second third fourth and then the line will come like this so let's see how to create this teardrop infographic slide in powerpoint Add a new slide and go to insert tab, shapes, under basic shapes, select this teardrop, draw the teardrop by holding the shift key and you can see here the small orange point, just increase it or drag it outside so it will look something like this and using this arrow you can just rotate it. So you can see here this is our one t drop or teardrop so let me just if you want i can reduce the size here i'll just make it 1.3 i'm going to make it no outline then go to insert shapes select the oval shape just click it here it will create one oval shape if you want you can increase the size also let me just increase a little bit so i'm holding the control and shift key and increase a little bit maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and press control d to duplicate it shape fill make it a white or make it white reduce the size by holding the shift key and put it here and make sure that both are align center and align middle and you can give a right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to give some shadow effect go to shadow and give this particular offset bottom right and if you want you can increase the distance then i'm going to insert one rectangle just like a small thin line and just put it at the center and shape outline make it no outline and if you want you can further reduce it instead of 0 0.05 i can make it 0 0.03 and make sure that this is properly or just zoom in and Put it in exactly in the center and just i will reduce the size a little bit so you can see here one design is ready the next step is select all the objects or you can press ctrl a also it will select all the objects and press ctrl d to duplicate it and put it next to the first one and make sure that this is properly aligned again ctrl d ctrl d so you can see here there are four drops and i'm just going to reduce the size of this so let me just go to format reduce it and then i will just move this teardrop somewhat up and this one also i'm going to reduce it and this i'm going to increase it and then one by one you can change the color to change the color first select this oval shape you can come to the fill and i'm going to select more colors and you can choose any color of your choice 
maybe this one and then press f4 key which will repeat whatever you have done you can see here then i'm going to select this one then i'll select a different color here maybe i'll select a blue then press f4 and again f4 then i'm going to select the third color maybe i'll just select this particular color which is kind of a green then f4 again click here and the last one let me just select a different color maybe i'll go with orange if you want you can make it a gradient fill also so once this is done it's time to add the text and the icons to add the icons uh, go to insert click on icons and you have to make sure that you're using the latest uh, powerpoint version or you can go to www.thenownproject.com you can download from there also so for example let me just put some business you need an active internet connection for this so i'm just going to select four different images and just say insert and i'm going to make this as 0.5 height and 0.5 as width and shape fill i will just give some gradient fill then i'll just put one by one here at the center and then you can add the text here go to insert text box i will just say option one center align make it white bold and i'm going to change the font to century gothic and put it here this is option one control d this is option two option three and option four so let me just change the sequence three two and below you can add some detailed text go to text box type your text here center align reduce the size to maybe 12 and put it here control d control d again and the last one The next i'm going to add some lines and some semicircles here for that go to insert shapes and select uh, this one which is a block r and just click this and i'm just going to make the size as 1.65 or 68 and you can just reduce the width by dragging this inside and shape outline make it no outline and rotate you can just say flip horizontal or say flip vertical and then just put it here this is one control d you can just do like this control d and here and then i'm just going to insert one small line which is starting from here and using the shift key you can get the straight line let me just insert again shapes lines and hold the shift key so the width i'm just going to increase it and one more line control d which is going from this end 
and reduce it you can add your title here I'll just say text box business title I will just say century gothic bold increase the size and you can add it here and the last anim thing is to do animation so before we add the animation let me just uh, group this this as well as the white circle control G to group it then I'm going to select the first the pink uh, circle and close the format shape go to animations enable the animation pane and I'm going to add animation I will just say maybe zoom you can see here the first is zoom and then I'm going to select this add animation I'll go to more entrance effect and for this I'll say basic zoom and basic zoom I will say out slightly or you can just say out also something comes like this or let it be like this and this should happen after previous and if I play it will come something like this then once this is done I will use the line the wipe animation wipe effect from top this should also happen after previous and then I'm going to group this also select the teardrop and the text press ctrl G let me just do it for all ctrl G then I'm going to select the teardrop for this also wipe from top I can say with previous and with a little bit delay and then the text should come this is also wipe from top after previous so if I play it will come something like this then using the animation painter I'm going to copy the animation to the other objects so for this I will just select this animation painter click on the blue circle then select this animation painter click on white then I'm going to select the line animation painter on the blue line then the teardrop and the last the text so let me just do for the other one so I'm just going to select the blue first click on animation painter and click on the green one I'm going to select this white animation painter click on this then the line animation painter click on this line and then I'm going to select the teardrop animation painter click on the teardrop and the last text so let me just repeat this for the orange also quickly I'll just select this then white and the text so the animation for this is over and then I can use the animation for the business title I can select the line I will just say wipe wipe I will say from left should happen after previous and then I will select this semicircle I'll say wipe from left and using the animation painter this is also with after previous then using animation painter I will just double click I will click on this then this the third one and the last which is the line and press on escape so let's see how it looks in the slideshow
so when i click the first will come then click the second drop the third drop and the last four drop after that the line will come here that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye